Once this interaction between bacterial proteins, toxins, and undigested food particles in the gut and immune system takes place, the immune system becomes imbalanced and chronic inflammation becomes a major problem in the body. This is when chemicals called inflammatory cytokines come into play. You might be familiar with the inflammatory cytokines TNF-alpha and interleukin-17, and that's because the biologic drugs such as Humira targets TNF-alpha and the biologic drug Cosyntix targets interleukin-17. The reason these drugs target these inflammatory cytokines is because these inflammatory cytokines, TNF-alpha and interleukin-17, are part of what's causing the ongoing damage, inflammation, pain, and stiffness associated with ankylosing spondylitis. So when these bacterial proteins, toxins, undigested food particles, and bacterial lipopolysaccharide come in contact with our gut immune system because of a leaky gut, cells of the immune system called antigen-presenting cells present these products to T cells. T cells are then stimulated to become different types of T cells, and then they'll produce inflammatory cytokines such as TNF-alpha and interleukin-17. Because of molecular mimicry that was previously discussed, these inflammatory chemicals now travel throughout the bloodstream and will attack structures that look similar to the bacterial proteins and toxins. Structures such as tendons, ligaments, and joints of the spine, hips, and sacroiliac joints.